I'm Seda from Germany, I'm 24 years old and was active in the German student movement and now I'm here in the Netherlands studying so I also want to fight here for good education so that's what we are doing and um, we occupy the student and information center or service and information center it's called and yeah we succeeded mm -hmm. yeah we went in two people tried to find out if it's open and it's actually open the building so we went in and tried to block all the doors which was a little bit difficult and now we are with about 30 people but also want to attract more people of course um, we kind of had a problem with the security people here and with the employees because they feel that their safety is in danger but I think our education is in danger <laughs> and that is a, a higher priority because without education there won't be any safety anyway. So, um, but that's uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, but we have the problem that uh, some employees are working against us, especially the boss uh, of this building and he's putting forward safety arguments but uh, I think he just doesn't want us to stay here. That's mm -hmm. yeah, what I think. And actually some employees are also supporting us. They, when I handed out the flyers they were like, oh yeah, we like it. <laughs> so, that's good. Um, it's not the perfect place, but right now the students all have uh, exam time, so they are not studying. So if you would go into a lecture hall, there would be nobody there. And so we try to occupy this. And um, we are doing it because uh, we want to fight the three main plans of the, uh, of the government. Um, and that is uh, first the 3,000 euro fine for people who study longer uh, and the uh, OV card that is going to be abolished and the STUFI for the master. We actually have three demands why we are doing this. Um, first of all, it's all about uh, education. We want to have good education in the Netherlands and also everywhere else, but right now we continue to fight here or we concentrate on fighting here. Uh, the first demand is um, that there shouldn't be any cutbacks on education and if they want to cut back, they can cut back on the CBB and on all the managers because they get thousands of uh, euros and they shouldn't fire our teachers instead. They, uh, they are important for our quality of education, um, but that's what they are planning to do right now also at this faculty where I'm studying, at FMK, and um, they want to fire teachers while if you see what salaries the CVB gets, um, you think, oh, there's an imbalance there. They get thousands of thousands, and um, yeah. We, and then they fire teachers, so we don't like that. But these employees here, I don't know, we will fight for their children's right to be educated well, so yeah. And the second demand is um, for Friday the 21st when there's the big demonstration, we want uh, exams to be cancelled and we want all the employees to be able to go there so they don't have to work, they can join our protest. And uh, yeah, we want all students to have the possibility to join uh, on the 21st and uh, the third is that we um, demand from the UVA that everybody uh, can come with a bus so that we can uh, go to the demonstration on Friday and other universities are doing this as well so we we thought it should be possible for our university to organize that. And the overall thing why we are doing this it is that the education is getting worse and worse. Why we are fighting is that we want good education and uh, we want to have the choice um, to study what we want and we don't want to go through the studies with a rush. We want enough time to concentrate on the things we want to learn and uh, that's the overall thing why we, are, uh, why we are fighting for better education and I personally think it's not a national issue, I think it's international because as you can see everywhere students are fighting, uh, Italy, Greece, uh, Turkey, now they started fighting, Japan, everywhere it's the same issue. There have been in the last years a lot of cutbacks on education and we are not willing to take that anymore, we are fighting back. I think to have a successful fight, we have to uh, work together with every other part of the society. And also because I, uh, of course, it's the same thing. If I'm a student now, but I will be a worker later, and then my kids will be students again, so we are all in the same boat. And uh, the cutbacks that are there um, in the social system, they hit all of us. And every cutback is hitting every one of us, so I think we should connect. But I feel, and we had the same problem in Germany also, that there's um, 
not really a will in the movement between the students and also between the workers to unite our struggle. I think it's a lack of knowledge, probably, uh, that it has to, we have to unite and uh, yeah, that's uh, really a problem and as you can see here also, if we would have more support from the, from the employees, we wouldn't have had so much trouble. But um, I don't know how to reach that actually, just by, I think, just by informing, doing stuff together, doing actions together. Uh, we also should, for uh, as students, not only fight for our rights, of course, but also for, for the workers and also for social housing, for uh, a good healthcare system and all of that. Yeah, we should. <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, as I see, there are not all people agreeing on this point. Some people only focus on the student part and that's a bad thing.